They're some of the most despised animals on the planet, spreading disease and fear among people. And just straight up being annoying. Flies. But behind that gross facade is an array of interesting facts. Here are some of them. Flies are a cosmopolitan species. This means they are found on nearly every corner of the planet, even Antarctica. Though unlike the rest of the six continents, Antarctica only has one native species, the Antarctic midge. Yes, midges are flies, but we'll get onto that later. Across all seven continents, there are thought to be over a million species, but only about 125,000 species are described. This makes the order Diptera, the taxonomic order, all true flyzerin, one of the largest insect orders in the world. Because there are just so many species, the diets of flies vary dramatically. Some don't even eat at all in adulthood, and don't even have mouths, such as crane flies. These flies don't have mouths in adulthood, as they don't need to. Their only purpose in life is to reproduce. But for the flies that do eat, they all have one thing in common. In adulthood, they are liquid feeders. They use a straw-like appendage called a proboscis, which is essentially their mouth, which they use to suck up food. For example, the housefly will eat just about anything, from our food we leave on the table to even feces. Another example, the mosquito, yes, mosquitoes are also considered a type of fly, have a varied diet depending on sex. Females mostly drink the blood of animals, primarily mammals, while males eat nectar. A fly's main predators are larger insects, frogs, spiders, and birds. In their larval stage, they are susceptible to beetles, ants, and parasitic insects. The group flies belong to, known as Diptera, or the true flies, is the third largest insect order. It contains 125,000 species, including houseflies, gnats, mosquitoes, and midges. Diptera is only topped by Coleoptera, beetles and weevils, and Lepidoptera, butterflies and moths. Diptera originates from the Greek words di, meaning two, and pteron, meaning wing. The defining features of Diptera are a single pair of wings, a pair of compound eyes, a large movable head, a proboscis, and a complete metamorphosis. Diptera can be further divided into two suborders, Nematocera and Brachycera. The two suborders are divided by antenna length and where their larvae are raised. Nematocera are the species with longer antenna and whose larvae are mostly aquatic, such as mosquitoes, midges, gnats, and blackflies. Brachycera are the flies with shorter antenna and whose larvae are mostly terrestrial. Flies are thought to have first evolved sometime around 250 million years ago. Flies used to have four wings, but their hind wings have since reduced to club-like centroid organs called holters. These holters assist in balance when in flight. Flies are unable to move their eyes like us. Instead, flies have compound eyes, which are eyes made up of many tiny eyes called ocelli. These compound eyes wrap around the sides of their heads, giving them 360 vision, allowing them to see you coming to slap them. This is one of the many reasons why it's so hard to kill flies. Along with this, flies experience the world much slower than we do, allowing them to have much faster reaction timing. Like their feeding habits, the sheer diversity of flies leads to them having varying life cycles and breeding habits. All flies go through metamorphosis, in the stages of larva, pupa, and finally adult. The way they go about it though varies between nematocera and brachycera. Flies typically lay their eggs in protected environments such as carcasses, food, feces, or bodies of water. The housefly, for example, searches for a warm, 
wet place to lay their eggs, such as food, feces, or trash. They will land on the surfaces, tasting for the best spot to lay their eggs, which is usually what they're doing when they land on your food. They can lay anywhere between 75 to 100 eggs on a single spot and will lay up to 900 throughout their lifetime. After about 20 hours, the fly's eggs then hatch. For the next 12 days, the larva called maggots will go through phases of rapid growth and molting. Towards the end of the larval stage, the maggots will burrow into the ground where it can then transition into the pupa stage. In the pupa stage, the fly encases itself in a cocoon-like structure where the fly develops into an adult and where the cycle restarts. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed that video, remember to click the like button. And if you like this kind of content, subscribe. There's plenty more where this came from.